जब एक लड़े सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी तब दे मेरा बांसुरी बने सब राग मधुर स्वर में बजे स्वर में बजे चित्रों को जो चक्र भर ऐसी तेरी धुन है बह जाए हर नस झमकार से भर जाए जब एक लड़े सुखमन मेरी को भर देगी ये गीत जो मुझसे बहते हैं भोजन की ही कहते हैं हर दिल में तेरा ही गान बसे तेरी धुन मगन हर जीव रसे हर जीव रसे बेहोश नहीं ये गौरव है रोशन चेतन की गुंजन है जब एक लड़ी सुखमन मेरी को भर देगी आनंद की इन बोझारों में पावनता के दीप जले इतना रोशन मुझे करते चले दिल के भीतर कई राग छिड़े हर राग में नंग इंसान जगे सामंथन रस रूप धरे
Jai Shri Mataji. Good morning, everyone. Let's collectively bow down, raise our Kundalini, and put on the bandhan. Let's start by saying the three great mantras, followed by Sri Ganesha mantra. Shri 
हरि शक्ति माता श्री निर्मला नमो नमः श्री माता जी प्लीज कम इन टू अवर हार्ट्स and allow us to meditate upon you and awaken our grah lakshmi principle with this meditation today please forgive all the mistakes knowingly or unknowingly made by us during this meditation jai shri mata ji let's all put our right hand on mother earth and balance our left channel shri mata ji please remove all negativities from our left side and dissolve them into mother earth वन मंत्र टू श्री महाकाली भैरवनाथ हो साक्षात श्री महाकाली भैरवनाथ साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री mother please enlighten our left channel and remove all the darkness from our left side please purify and strengthen our left channel Slowly put your right hand back into your lap. Let's clear our right chin. Shri Mata Ji, please remove all negativities and problems from our right side and dissolve them into ether. mother please remove all the ego and anger within me and dissolve them into ether one mantra to shri maha saraswati hanumana शक्ति माता जी 
Mother, please remove all the flood, all the future planning, anxiety, and worries within me, and dissolve them into ether. Slowly put your left hand back into your lap. Raise both of your hands up to the heart level and pray to Mother to clear our central channel. Shumataji, please remove all the obstacles in the path of our spiritual ascent. Mother, please clear our central channel. Please deepen our axis of spirituality and let us be a pure instrument of yours. Let's take one mantra to Shri Mahalakshmi, Shri Ganesh Gauri Mata Sakshat. Oh. Om Tvameva Sakshat, Shri Mahalakshmi, Shri Ganesh Gauri Mata Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Slowly put both of your hands back into your lap. And let's just raise a few strands of Kundalini energy. Let's put our right hand on our left nabi. <coughs> and pray to Shumata Ji, Mother, please come into our left nabi in the form of Shri Grihalakshmi. And please remove all the imbalances within our left nabis. Please awaken the Grihalakshmi principle within us 
within all of us Father and collectively fix the left Nabi of Brisbane Shivata Ji please give us generosity peace and satisfaction within us so we are able to emit your love in a pure and generous way so we can be completely satisfied within ourselves so we are completely at peace at your holy lotus feet O Great Mother we'll take one mantra to Sri Grahalakshmi Om Dvami Vesakshat Shri Graha Lakshmi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Take one mantra to Sri Hazrat Ali Fatima B. Om Dvami Vesakshat Sri Hazrat Ali Fatima B. Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Slowly move your right hand back into your lap. Let's put our left hand on the right Nabi. And say one mantra to Sri Raj Lakshmi. Om Dvami Vesakshat Sri Raj Lakshmi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha One mantra to Shri Himalaya Om Dvami Vesaksha Shri Himalaya Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Mother, please purify our right Nabi and please remove all the financial and family worries within us.
please remove all the overthinking and over planning within us. Mother, please purify our livers, our seat of attention. And allow our attention to settle down at your holy lotus feet. Slowly put your left hand back into your lap. Put your attention on your central lobby and pray to Mother. Mother Please awaken the Lakshmi principle within us. And let us be peaceful and generous. Please take us further in our spiritual evolution. and raise us higher and higher in our spiritual awareness. I take one mantra to Sri Lakshmi Vishnu. Om Dvame Visaksha Shri Lakshmi Vishnu Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Father, please give us the state of nirvicharita, of thoughtless awareness. Let's move our attention up to our Sahasra Chakra and meditate in silence for a few minutes.
We'll now listen to an extract of Shimataji's talk given in 1988 at Sri Fatima Puja. Why this principle of the Dhara Lakshmi was specially created? To overcome that hatred, to subdue that icy stuff called hatred, to remove from the minds of the people hatred, this Lakshmi, Dhara Lakshmi principle was created. How? In the family, when you have a household, The Guru Lakshmi principle has to subdue the hatred between the children, between the husband and the children. But if she herself enjoys her hatred, then how can she subdue it? She is the source of that peace which subdues hatred. Now in India we have joint family. You two have relations like uncles, aunties, this that. The housewife's job is to smooth, smooth out all angularity of people which creates friction. Now the man has to worship a housewife. He said so yatra narya pujyante tatramante devata. Wherever the housewife is respected, there only the gods reside. In our country, I must say, credit must go to the housewives, because we are no good for economics, no good for politics, administration, hopeless. Men folk are useless. They don't know any household work or anything women have kept it to themselves. But our society's first class is maintained by the women of the housewife. So the man has to respect the housewife. That's very important. If he does not respect his housewife, there's no possibility of any Grahalakshmi Tattva being maintained. It's like the preservation of that principle of a housewife. But some men, I mean many of them, think that it is their birthright to aid their wives, to torture them, to say all kinds of things, to be angry, if she is a good woman. But if she is a nagar, if she is a boot, then they are subdued, completely subdued. If the wife is a boot, then the husband always sort of sees tries to please her and be extremely kind to her. You know, she's a boot after all, you know, be careful. Don't know what time the boot will come like a snake on you. And if she knows how to nag or to argument, then also they are afraid. There's no love. They have no love or respect for her. But they have an awe, a fear. And they are afraid of such a woman. Now some women think if they become flirtish, then the husband are better controlled. But their basic principle they lose, the basic shakti that they have they lose. And they land up in difficulties. So the basic principle of a girl Lakshmi is to respect her chastity. To respect her chastity. Outside, inside. That is the steadiness of it. Of course, most of the men take advantage of it. If the wife is docile or obedient, they make it a point that they just rule the wife left and right. All right? But this woman, the housewife, has to know that she is not docile. She is obedient to her own righteousness, to her own virtues. 
to her own qualities. If the husband is stupid, all right, he's stupid like a child, finished. But the husband has to know that he must respect, otherwise he is a lost piece, he's finished. He's good for nothing. First thing is that he must see the woman in the household is respected as a Grahalakshmi. Then the blessings flow. But in no way he should insult her or be unkind to her and raise his voice or say things to her. But a wife has to be the one who is to be respected. I have so many times said, your wife is dominating, give her two slaps on the face, of course, no doubt. She has not to be dominating, she has to remove the dominating forces of others. She is the source of peace. She is the source of joy and she is the peacemaker. If she is the one who creates problems, then you can slap her nicely, bring her to her ship. It's all right. So it's a Grahalashmi Tattva is mutual. It doesn't depend only on the wife or the husband, but both of them. So once if you are making your wife suffer, your left Nabi can never imp. Or if you are a bad wife, your left Nabi cannot imp. Now in the West, the problem with the women is this, that they don't realize what is their power. An eighty-year-old old woman also would like to look like a bride. They do not feel their dignity and enjoy their dignity within themselves. They are the queen of the house. But they want to behave like cheapish, childish, young, frivolous girl. They don't feel the dignity of their being. They talk too much, they behave in a manner that doesn't behove a housewife. Like they'll take out their hands, talk like this, as the fishermen do when they sell their fish to someone and when they have to fight. Or they shout, sometimes they shout also, I mean, this, uh, I've heard they shout, and sometimes they beat their husbands, that's the limit. They start always comparing themselves with the husband to begin with. Like, uh, I am such a rich man, a rich, rich man's daughter, I am from such and such family, my husband is from such a low family, he has no money, nothing, he is not educated, so he'll treat him. Treat him in a manner that shows no respect. Such a woman will lose all her powers. Also in her own way, she will feel guilty. She will feel guilty because, first of all, nobody has right to look down upon anyone whatsoever in such yoga special. Then to look down upon your husband is something unbelievable. He may not be a surgeon, all right? He may not be up to the point. But by your behavior, by your strength, by everything, you can save him. But why are you losing yourself? By dominating others, by strangling others, by making your husband a very sort of a frog in the well, telling him, oh, we both are, after all, we should enjoy, let's have our house separately, nobody should come in the house, even a rat won't enter that house. Even to say, oh, these are my children, my husband, myself is the negative of Sahaja Yoga, is a negative form of understanding. These are 
absolutely absurd things. They do not look like for any sajogi or any sajogi. All this kind of selfishness, all this kind of seclusion is against sajogi. But a thing of a housewife is, oh, now, how much should I prepare? Uh, for example, there will be fifty persons coming. So the husband says, but only ten are coming. Why do you want to have for fifty persons? But maybe they would like to eat more. But then why do you have fifty plates? Maybe they might bring their friends. So she thinks of her generosity. She enjoys her generosity. I have known many like that. Those who say they are not even such beginnings. Uh, they will say, then, will you come, sister in law, will you come for dinner? Oh, I am not coming, huh? you cook too many things. Not coming. No, no, I will cook very few things, but please come. Then she just starts thinking immediately what vegetables are available in the market? What should I get? What is the best? I mean, I am not their guru, I am not their uh, mother. I am just a relation. But they want to express their love through the food. They are the giver of food, another. They are the Andhra And this is one of the qualities, the generosity for a woman doesn't have. She is not a Saraja by any chance. Take it from her. Husband may be little miserly, doesn't matter. But wife has to be very generous, and sometimes she secretly gives money, not to her own children, but to others. Such beautiful women have to be there in search of her. But I feel so sorry sometimes that the attack comes from the women of surgery. not from the men or me. I am a woman myself. I feel shocked that the women should attack me like this. For what? In Sahaja Yoga there is no domination of any kind. But all this so-called idea of servility and domination comes from the false ideas you have about your own dignity, about your own understanding. You are not aware of yourself. You do not know that you are the queen. Nobody can dominate you. Who can dominate? The lady who rules the household. If supposing the husband says, I don't like this colour, all right, leave it for a while. Then somebody will come and say, What a nice colour. He says, Ah, such a nice colour. Oh, don't change it. The woman must understand the men. They are they are they are big guys. They are not microscopic. They see everything in a big way, you see. So today they will say something, tomorrow they will forget about it. And they have, don't have a microscope. They are, they are too above these things. They are above these things. You must understand that, must there. But if he sits on the horse, I must also sit on the horse and fall down. If he goes for skiing, I will also go for skiing. If he develops his muscles, I will also develop my muscles. It is coming to that point. I mean, women start looking like nothing on earth. You don't know what sort of women these are with big, big muscles, you know, without any moustaches. So this kind of stupid ideas we have. But there is no subordination of any kind. You are subordinated to your own dignity, to your own chastity, to your, your sense of honour and above all to your righteousness, because you are in charge of that. The man who is in charge has to look after that sign. How many quarrels you create? How can you be quarrelsome when you are supposed to become the peacemaker? Supposing we send two peacemakers to some country to make peace and they cut each other's throat, what will you say to such you are the one who has to smooth down everything. You have the one who has to bring such 
expression of love, such sweet thing, that the family itself he rested in, secured in, because you are the mother. The family must feel secure within you. And this love is your power. This is your power that you can give love. And giving love, you will find you will always enrich yourself. <laughs>
Let's take the last of the three great mantras. Collectively bow down, raise up a kundalini, and put on a bandha. Jai Shri Mataji. Thank you everyone for joining us this morning. Um, and let us collectively give a bandhan to Uncle Albert and Auntie Pam Lewis. Let's pray to Mother for their quick recovery. Jai Shri Mataji. We'll continue to play some music for those who wish to continue to meditate. Thanks again everyone for joining us in this morning's meditation.
and for your lovely vibrations. Thank you, Mother, for all your love and blessings and for clearing our nabis and for strengthening our Grey Lakshmi principles. Thank you, Mother, again and again for everything. Cheshu. Thank you.